Hello everyone, welcome back to Think About Meal. Today we are doing a very simple dessert, a vanilla pot de creme. It means small bucket of cream in French, so yes, it's super creamy and indulgent. We are going to flavor it with some real vanilla, two vanilla pots to avoid to have this boring vanilla taste here. We want a very intense vanilla flavor. We only need five ingredients and about five minutes to do it. So let's get started. Let's start by preparing the vanilla. Put your vanilla pods flat on a cutting board and with a small sharp knife, split it lengthwise. Then take the back of your knife and scrape all the tiny vanilla beans that are inside and add them to a large mixing bowl. And quick tip, don't throw away the rest of the vanilla pot. There's still a lot of flavor in it. You can add it to a container with some sugar to have vanilla sugar or you can add it to some milk and warm it up to have some delicious vanilla milk. Now let's prepare the eggs. We will need five egg yolks, so let's separate them from the white part. You can use your preferred method for this. <laughs> there are lots of tricks on the internet, but I like the old fashioned way. We won't use the egg white in this recipe, but you can do some meringue or an egg white omelette with them. With a whisk, you can now mix the preparation a bit. Then add all your sugar and mix again until the sugar is almost dissolved. Finally, add your milk and all your cream and do a final mix until everything is combined. That's it, the prep is all done. Now it's time to fill up your ramkins with this custard. It gives you four to six portions depending on the size of your ramkins. You can cook them like this if you want and they will have a small crust on top or you can cover them with heat resistant plastic wrap to have them creamy on top. Just make sure your plastic wrap can handle the heat. Finally, place the ramkins on the baking sheet and into the oven for 40 minutes at 120 degrees. After that time, the center should still be a bit jiggly and it will firm up when it cools. Let them cool first at room temperature, then into your fridge for two hours. And here is it, folks, a vanilla pot de creme. Let's cook in. This one has cooked without the plastic wrap, so it has a bit of crust on top. The custard really is super creamy. No other dessert that I know have this smooth texture. Mmm, the vanilla flavor really burst, and it's so good. If you wonder where are the vanilla beans, they will always fall at the bottom of the ramkins. But it's okay as they give their taste to the cream. That's it, guys. Let me know in the comments if you want more simple dessert like this one. Leave a like and see you next time. Bye bye.